Hi guys, um, today I'm going to show you all about the app called iMovie. Now, um, I'm just going to say a quick notice thing. Um, iMovie, I'll say, is more for people that upload videos or it's their job to make videos. Like, if you're just like one of the people that just like video take random moments. I don't recommend it because um, it's actually quite pricey because I think it's actually I think it's two ninety nine pounds like three pounds so it's not it's quite a lot of money so I don't and it's, it's quite a good app but if you're just one of the people that just film random moments I don't really recommend it but if you do want to buy it I do reckon that like, I really like it because my intro video as you can tell if you go back to my channel, it's my intro video, and that's that's done by um, iMovie. And um, the only problem I have doing iMovie is when you upload it onto YouTube, it has like as you watch it is it's in the center, so it's like small. But I think you could change that. So I'm going to show you how to use the app, and then at the end I'm going to tell you if it's worth to buy. So as you, if you go to your home, you pre press iMovie. So as you can tell, it says iMovie coming soon, like in the, the theatres. So it says it press, uh, tap plus, like cross to start a new project. So you press that. And it says tap this like symbol to insert the media and tap the record. To record from your camera so I already record a video so you just go on to this and video I pick this one yep so this just So that's just before you edit it. So then let's just play around with it. So then you press like the little symbol up here on the top right. So you press it here. And you have all these different you have project settings, modern, bright, neon, playful, travel, simple, news. So let's just pick news. So you press that. And then it got theme music, which I don't recommend because it's quite a rubbish. And it says loop background music. I'd turn this off if I was you. And then fade in from black or fade out to black. I'd, I think you just turn all the settings off. It's up to you. But it's up to you. And then you have this one up here. In the centre. Which you can, you can like do a voiceover, but... I already done it. So that's it right for now. If you just I don't know if you can see it. Okay, you can't really see it but it's got a news theme to it, so it's quite a good app to do that stuff. So you go back to the home page and then I create a project, so that's the one that I just did. And then you got this one, this one next to the plus, which just plays all your movies. So I uh, and then you go, you press the one next to it, which is that one. Cancel this one. Yeah. And you can upload it to Camera Roll, YouTube, Facebook. I think that's Vim. Vim. I don't know what that is. And CNN Report and then iTunes. So if, say, for YouTube, you press the YouTube one. And you just sign into YouTube and I'm already signed in. Sign in and it's that simple. I thought it was really easy to use. So that was it to be honest. Oh and then you have like the dustbin. We can just delete a project. I've got my finger in. That one there. And that just deletes the project and it's quite easy. But if you get stuck you just press the little question mark down here. And it's got all the topics you can or that all the topics. So it's really simple to make, I think. Um, it's kind of really, I think, so I last checked it, it was £3 
on um, the Apple Store in England, which I think it's quite, it's cheap if you do it like as a hobby or like you upload stuff to YouTube and you have like an iPhone you can quickly just upload it. But if you're just one of these people that just muck around, just like take pic like video take random moments. And I don't really recommend it. But out of all I give it about four out of five. I say it's really easy to use I think that like, I think Apple has made this really easy to use. Like it's just press, press and then upload and then you finish. So I really like that. So yes, that is it. So keep watching my other videos and I hope you enjoyed this. So just a review. Um, just a review, I give this 4 out of 5, recommend to people that does this as a hobby, but I don't really recommend people that just, like, take random, like, yeah, video take random stuff, so, hope this is helpful to you guys, it's up to you if you want to buy it, so see you later, see you guys later, bye.